Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Divine and Gifted. My name is Shay, and I'm here to do a new moon read for you guys. So we're in the new moon Taurus. And um, I'm going to pull on collective energy and see what messages we have, what energy is coming towards us. What's going to... What is it that we need to focus on this, this new moon releasing and calling in? Let's see, let's see what happens. So we're just going to pull two of these. The first one out is the energy is gaining momentum. That was too many. Can I get one more, please? So I'm just seeing here that something is going to start picking up. It's a time for healing. Is what it says. A time for healing and the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like there's a cleansing, there's a purging that's going on around the world. As you guys know, like even with the um, the current pandemic we have on our hands. Um, so it's going to be time for us to work through our fears, bottom of the deck. It's time for us to work through our fears because things are going to be start changing rapidly. You guys are going to start being more in tune and more intuitive. You guys should be in downloads, you know. A lot of you guys could be going through a lot of things like headaches, you know, tiredness, fatigueness. It's just because um, there's a lot of things that's shedding to start anew is what I'm getting. Um, here. So, didn't really have this planned out. So, um... Let's just go ahead and see what's to come. That was quick. Transformation. Happiness. And going forward. This is what I'm saying. A lot of things are shedding. And it's and it's still, we're still at the, the beginning here is what I'm getting here. We're still at the beginning stages of the transformation. But it's still going to be beautiful. It's going to bring happiness. It's going to bring success. It's going to bring opportunity. Right? It's going to be happiness, success, opportunity. It's going to be great. Is what I'm getting. So this right here is going to be what's currently stopping and blocking you from moving forward. So me personally, I like to do um, what's stopping and blocking me from moving forward during the the first day of the new moon which is um tomorrow because that's when there's no moon in the sky it's empty so i would just like release everything that day whatever's holding me on whatever holding me back or whatever it is that um i really feel that's been really attacking me that i haven't fully let go of i'll release that maybe do a bath or something and then the second day is when i actually get to work so um Let's go ahead and see real quick. I'm going to try not to make this too long. But the message is the message. It's a time for change. So a lot for, for a lot of us, change and balance. It's hard for us to accept change when we move forward. Accepting change is like all my things that I need to do, right? Change a lot of things, right? Um... But I'm seeing here that it's hard for people to change because it's hard for people to trust. And it's just trying to find that, that synergy and that balance moving forward. Trying to find the courage. So these things are stopping and blocking us, right? So it's like um, you need to understand that before you can actually move forward and before you can actually go through the transformation that is going to cause some change from you and from, from how you perceive things. Um, and just trust that your intuition is guiding you moving forward in the direction that's meant for you. Need to be if you're leaving behind people, places, or things. Um, it's no longer serving you. It's time for your soul to heal is what it's saying. It's like a cry out. Your soul is crying out to be healed. It's crying out to have happiness. And it's also telling you at the same time that the only way that you can have true happiness is if you heal within yourself. So. Um. Moving forward, it's going to bring out the tarot. Let's bring out the tarot. See, we have a quick message. 
let's see what the message is for us today okay you know what let's see what messages do you have for us this new moon the empress and the moon the Empress and the Moon. It's time for us to create despite our fears. And then both of this is the full moon. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Both of this is a full moon here. And the world is in her stomach. So it's like it's time for to create. It's, it's time for you to give birth to something. It's time for you to create a new world. It's time for you to let go of your fears. It's time for you to just instead of feeling like you're slowly but surely falling. It's time for you to be consumed in your emotions. It's time for you to find that balance and that duality moving forward. I'm going to put them back. Okay. And then you have the King of Swords because this is someone cutting out what no longer serves them moving forward. This is someone who's thinking very logical, trying to um, come up with a, a plan to move forward. But also, I don't know. I'm feeling like someone's trying to run away from something. You got the Six of Cups and you have the Three of Cups. So I see here that there... And the Lovers. So I see here that there is some... Um, some reflecting. But it's a good reflecting though. This is someone who's going back and looking back over all the things that they've been through. So it's not... Um, so just be careful here when you're reflecting back. To not get so stuck and consumed in your feelings that you don't see the growth. That you don't see, um, you don't see how far you've came is what I'm getting. Like just because it's what you went through don't mean it's where you're going. Um, with the three of cups here, six of cups, three of cups, this is you finding your wish fulfillment. This is you finding your happiness. This is you going forward and um, really surrounding yourself with people, person, places, or things. That's really going to push you forward to be better and do better with the lovers here. Um, this is the people that you're trying to connect to. This is the people that you're trying to attract. Um, the lovers and the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's time for you to take action towards something that's um, fulfilling you emotionally. Six of cups, three of cups, and the king of swords. Um, what else? With the seven of wands and the ace of wands here. I feel like in this specific deck... This is someone going within and calming the chatter that's going on in their brain and, and, and putting an end to the indecisiveness. This is someone who is basically um, trusting their instincts and not letting outside forces or people convey their mind or try to sway it, convey, try to sway their mind to make them do what they want. It's more about what they want. As you can see here, um, she's in her own little bubble and she has... Right there at the solar plexus chakra aligned with the empress. Um, she's finding what it is that truly fulfills her. So she can give birth to her he or she. He or she. You know. Sorry y'all. People are always trying to do something when um, you're doing something. You know what I'm saying? Um, the two of swords here. And the seven of swords with the six of pentacles. I feel like for a long time, for some of you, okay, for some of you for a long time, you guys were very indecisive. You guys probably could have been doing self-sabotage. You guys probably could have been running away from a situation for some of you. For others of you, I feel like you guys went in and you found out what you wanted and you knew what was no longer serving you. So you cut it out. Boom. And now instead of you involving people in your business, it's like you moving kind of like um, stealthy is what I get from this one right here. I get someone who is very um, stealthy. Because how you going to go steal um, feathers from a bird's nest? Let me find out how you did that. And then this is another full moon too also. So um, so yeah, moving forward. Um, sorry, y'all. I just got totally got lost in the cards here. Um, so... Basically, what I'm saying is that for some of you, you guys could have been really going back and forth in your head, not knowing what you wanted until you went within and found out what you really wanted moving forward. Found out that 
you had to leave some things behind moving forward. You, 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 everything couldn't go with you is what I'm getting. Um, this is why you're reflecting back on maybe the past memories, the good times that you had. And it puts you in a space to where you kind of not, not really isolated yourself, but it's just more so like you centered yourself to the point to where you probably had to low key disconnect yourself. So you can see what was meant for you and what wasn't meant for you with the seven of swords here. Because, yeah, it could be deceit. It could be lies. It could be um, mischievous. It could be self-sabotage. But one thing that it can be is being careful about how you move and not putting other people in your business. Then you have the six of pentacles. And because you've been moving this way, it's like things will start to be balanced out. The universe see you. And if they see the progress that you're making, they see the healing that you've been going through. They see that you are no longer willing to complete the same cycles moving forward. Um, the Six of Pentacles. So now it's like, okay, let's make this happen. I got this work for you. I, I got these gifts for you. Because not only is... Because in other... In the right away tarot deck, let's just say that, right? Um, it looks like um, people who need help. This is like more so like more balance and synergy anything multiple gifts multiple opportunities and we already seen in the last deck that you're going to have endless opportunities going forward is there any anything else you're going to have multiple opportunities going forward um i i just think that um here you should be mindful because you are going through a healing process and sometimes when you're healing you don't take in regards to how other people may feel how other people may feel when it comes to like um I don't even know what I was saying there like it just went away just just be mindful of how you moving don't don't be so harsh to cut off people don't be so quick to react don't be just don't be so quick move in a more still way seven of swords move in a way nobody gonna know what you're doing with the star here this is saying that you need to have faith and stay hopeful this is renewing energy because right now i feel like you could be feeling kind of like lost sad and confused but at the end of the day your journey is what you make it just like you had those memories that you're looking back on you're going to have plenty of memories to look forward to when you start making the moves or taking the necessary steps to better your future. Um, is there anything else? Whoa. Right here, I'm seeing the magician. And I keep seeing the lovers. Um, <clears throat> I don't really feel love here. Yeah, I don't. But if this was a love read, the empress, someone who's in her grown woman, someone who's grown to be very mature and knows how to nurture and self-loving, giving and all of that, that she is. She don't see this next move coming. I feel like if this is love, there's someone who's been watching her. Um, Page of Swords isn't here, but I feel like there's someone who's been watching her just because of how he's looking at her. And it's more so of an admiration than anything. There's, it's, it's more so he thinks all of his thoughts on his head about her, thinking of how he can get back with her, three, three of Cups, thinking about how he can get back with her with the Seven of Wands here because he know that if he was to ever work his way back around, that she would have her defense up. She would have her guard up. She wouldn't be as open as before because I feel like in the past they could have been through things um, with the two of swords here and the seven of swords. But with the ace of wands, it's like he knows what he wants. He knows he wants her. And um, if he was to come back around, this would catch her off guard. And she wouldn't know how to accept this because, like I said, in the past, it could have been she always given her side, given her to she could have always been given her, herself to the situation. He wasn't giving back. Six of Pentacles is here. It's not in reverse, but just take this energy into consideration. They had to reconcile something. Right. So obviously there wasn't an equal give and take in the past. And there was some lies. There was some um, destroying of a relationship here, which is why he's all up in his head thinking about her. Um and then with the star, it's like he still he still wishes upon it. He still hopes for it. He still wants it. He still he's he just still this is what he does. Just still like he's he, he hasn't let her go. And I feel like she's moved on and she's doing her thing. She's trying to find her inner her inner goddess. And boom, here he come. 
here he come okay I, I'm, 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 I'm not about to get crazy with y'all here he come but um getting he it's like he gets lost in her movement you get what i'm saying so here he come throwing her all her off her whack and she like nah i'm good seven of wands you get what i'm saying but um here with the star someone's being very hopeful um with the fool and then you have judgment this is what i'm saying someone has been really going in their thoughts and really taking the time out and doing a deep self-reflection here this is a call to one it's time for it's time for a change you've been through the you've been through hell and back you've been through third parties you've been through broken relationships you've been through codependent relationships you've been through um relationships to where you was giving all of you codependent you was giving all of you not getting none back you've been through the 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 feeling lonely, sad, left out, confused. You've been through all that. And, and you've been through all that. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to heal. It's what the judgment here is saying. Star judgment. And to star full in the judgment is basically saying it's time to let go. Because what you've already planted is already within the stars. If you can see here with the three of cups, the stars is here. The stars is here. It's like they're calling you and they're ready for you to stand into your true power and understand that um, pain is only temporary. You get what I'm saying? It's time for you to move forward. The chariot. It's time for you to move forward. That was a three of um, swords in reverse. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you. It's just time. It's time. Like I, I just looked up and seen it's time for healing. It's just it's time. So, what have you been doing that's been holding you back? Not adapting to change? Holding on to people? Holding on to relationships? Holding on to past mistakes? Holding on? Just holding on, right? What else is here? What else is here? What else is stopping and blocking from moving forward as a collective, please, spirit? Um... Thank you. Right. We already see that. It's indecision. Failure to make um, decisions. It's like, it's not even about failure to make decisions. It's fairly, it's, it's like a struggle to move forward is what it's saying. Because the service card came out. Failure to move forward because you're always helping people. You always put your neck out on the people. You always be the one that somebody can go to. And then you start blaming yourself when shit don't go right. Okay, I'm going to need you to wake up. I'm going to need you to step out of that. That's all the way out. What else? Okay. Listen. They acting crazy. Um, It's time for you to step. It's time for you to stand in your purpose. Okay. It's time for you to find humor. It's time for. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to make the connections. If you've been holding on and harboring on relationships that you're ascending from. You're sending from toxic relationships. You're ascending from toxic people. You're ascending from toxic jobs. You're ascending from everything. But it's time for you to let it go. Because the energy right now is like, I have to clear everything out. That is not, that's stagnant. All stagnant energy has to be, has to be removed. It has to be relinquished. It has to be let go. It has to be, it has to dissipate. Okay. Um, at this time, but you need to have patience with yourself. You need to understand that, um, as you move forward and as you grow, there will th there will be things, there will be people, there will be attachments that you will have a have hold of that cannot go with you, and you have to let them go. Everybody has their journey. Everybody has their journey. Everybody has their season to shine. Everybody got it. And the only person you need to worry about is you and your healing path. Is what I'm getting here. So, with that being said, we gonna pull best advice. And we're going to wrap this up. I think I did good with the time, y'all. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Got to go back and watch this to see what this is about. But I feel like it's a time to heal. Can we get the best advice for the collective moving forward spirit? Thank you. It's time to step out of this nine of sword energy. It's time for you to take your power back. Nine of swords, queen of wands. It's time with the chariot and the magician. It's time. It's time for you to go create. You have control over yourself, over your life. You have control over that. The cherry is someone who holds on to a sphinx, two sphinx, sphinx, and don't have not no straps on it. 
It's all controlled through the mind. And once you understand that your mind creates everything, you will be the most powerful person on the planet. And that's real. Okay? It's time. It's the Knight of Cups is here with the, with the Page of Swords. It's time. It's time for you to go on that new emotional beginning. It's time. It's time for you to actually step up and say, you know what? This is happening to me. I need to heal this. This is happening to me. I need to let this go. And then we're going to move forward. We're not going to hold it. We're going we're gonna to light that motherfucker on fire. Write all it down. I release. I forgive. I let go. It's no longer attached. Whatever you got to put down on paper, you write it down. And you set it on fire. And when you set it on fire, I banish these things from me. They are no longer connected to me. Anything that I'm associated with. I walk away from this energy. It's not serving me no more. Period. Now let's get this best advice and keep, keep it moving. Alright. So we got the Ace of Water. What I tell you? New emotional beginning? But it's going to take time. This is why patience is here. You have to be patient. You got the Knight of Earth and you have the Eight of Water. Boom. With the Eight of Fire at the bottom of the deck. Okay? The Eight of Fire. You're starting. This is, this is, it's time for you to start your journey. It's time for you to start your path. It's time for you to start it. Whatever it is. And if you watching this and you don't know what it is, I'm here to tell you that Spirit said, I got you. Ask and you shall receive. Hello? Ain't that what it say? Don't nothing go. You can't get the answers to anything if you don't ask. Ask your ancestors. Ask your angels. Ask your spirit guides. Whatever it is you believe in. Ask God. Talk to them. Let them know. But they're telling you they have a new emotional beginning for you. This don't have to be love. This can be whatever you want it to be. Ace of water. It could be whatever you want it to be. Whatever is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. But just know that when it comes... It's going to be, it's going to be steady. If this is, let's say it's a relationship. This is going to be solid. This is somebody who cares, emotionally cares about you. This is someone who walked away from bullshit. Who walked away from everything that, who walked away from regret. Who walked away from self forget um, for not forgiving themselves. Blame, shame, defeat, guilt. Who been through the ringer, hell, water, and back. And was like, you know what? I still got two more cups to get. I'm about to go get it and go get it. Like, don't limit yourself is what I'm saying. Um, But Ace of Swords, uh, look, and then the Ace of Swords. Be victorious while you're doing it. And I don't even see the Ace of Swords here. Okay? Because if that would have been Ace of Swords, I swear y'all would have heard me scream. Okay? Y'all would have heard me scream. Let me. I got curious. <laughs> I got curious. Uh, but all I'm saying is that. It's time for you to move on to things that 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 pushes you, that drives you. It's time for you to go find that passion wherever it's at. It's time for you to go find it and get it. And once you find it, hold on to it. This is solid. This is what it say. It's time to get things done. A guardian angel, honor your commitment. It's time to buckle down and get things done. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay. That's the message. It's time. It's time to heal. It's time to let go. And it's time to move the fuck on. Okay? Deuces. So, that's your reading. That would have been a cold way to end, huh? I should have ended it right there. <laughs> that's your reading. I, I wish you guys well. Peace, love, happiness, healing. Oh, I started my own group, too. On Facebook. I'm working on my Instagram. Um, it's she's the one divine and gifted. Okay, you guys. Love and light. Thank you.